baby boys, baby girls, welcome back. Glad you made it. It's another social production we're doing on May 24th, 2023. Thank you very much for joining me once again. If it's your first time, buckle up, buckle down. Where can you find these videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Instagram? Follow me there if you like. Subscribe on YouTube for the full length videos. Check out patreon.com slash Rob Sadry. And let's get it going, baby. If you're tuning in from Canada, hell's yeah, let's do it. If you're tuning in from the United States, Mexico, South America, Asia, Africa, uh, Papua New Guinea, Australia, New Zealand, Australia, uh, all the islands, Caribbean islands, the Philippines, Thailand, Taiwan, wherever you're at, Cuba, uh, Portugal, friggin' uh, Zimbabwe, what's up? Baby boys, baby girls, I'm feeling good. Today's gonna be an exciting, extra loose episode. Let me get a sip of this bad boy. We're gonna have some fun today. Because, you know, sometimes, and again, if it's your first time, you're like, what happens up in this bitch? A lot of things. We, we discuss the personal, uh, the stuff that's societal, that's concerning all of us. And we bring it all together and we have a lot of fun. And today's mostly going to be about a personal story. But uh, the, the the following is an, it's, it's a, oh man, this, I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to have fun today. We're going to have fun with this one today because it's uh it's, it's going to be one topic, but there's going to be different topics embedded into the one topic. And we're going to get, it's concerning relationships, baby. Relationships and all sorts of relationships. And we're going to get into the nitty gritty and the sexuals. Yeah, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about sex. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. We're going to have some fun. We're going to go in. There's a, imagine a home, a beautiful home. And we're going to open this door. And there's corridors, and there's bedrooms, and there's kitchens, and there's hallways, different closets, uh, the utility closet, uh, walk-in closet, walk-out closet, revolving uh, doors, friggin' elevators, uh, all sorts of amenities in this place that we're about to, and we'll see which uh, path we'll take and where it leads us, but we're going to be discussing relationships, and without further ado, baby boys, baby girls, let's get into it. So on Mondays, on Monday, on this past Monday, after finishing up work, after doing my thing, I'm like, you know what? What is this? What is the, oh, did we get a, oh, we, we, we got a little date, got a little date, got a little, because your boy's out there. I'm in my, I'm in my, I don't even know what stage of life this is, but I'm in this stage of life. And what you're about to hear, it's neither this, that, or the other. It's neither good, it's neither bad, it's neither uh, black, neither white. It's neither uh, what are other opposing colors that you can think of. It's neither yellow nor purple. It's somewhere in between. It's neither red or bl somewhere in between is what I'm trying to tell you. I think I don't even know. Dude. We're gonna get into it. It's uh, I got a date. Got a date. Let's start with that. Got a date on Monday. Boys out there living life doesn't happen too often you know every once in a while you know got to go out there and just uh socialize it's good for you and do different things and you know i'm in that stage of life i've been in this stage for quite some time i like to keep it this way for quite some time not gonna lie to you because it just it fits where i'm at in life right now i don't commit to anything i just have i the very specific something you know i get in there if I get a chance, we'll, I'll, I'll get on an app. I'll speak with a lady if we match. I put it out there. I'm looking for some casual. Hopefully, they're looking for the same thing. If we are looking for the same thing, we're just going to get together. Just two adults, two mature adults getting together for a little bit of uh, the hanky-panky, a little bit of the old sexual activities, a little bit of the old uh, I'll tickle your back if you tickle mine. Feel me? Let's get a, you know what I'm talking about, baby. It's uh. It's life. It's where life stems from. But but we, we try to block the life. We use we we use life blockers all day, every day up in this bitch. Don't be thinking out here we're like starting life. No, this is where life happens, but this is not where life begins. So you match with a lady, and I'm sure this is something that you guys and gals can out there relate to as well. Or you match with a dude and you're going out there. You, oh, we're gonna what's happening today? We're gonna get together, we're gonna go out. Or you might want to come over, or I might want to come over, and we're going to have a little hookup sesh. Little, uh, I don't even know. Classic Netflix and chill sesh. Classic bumping of the old uglies. 
uh, classic, just getting down and dirty and just, you know, doing a six to nine for a little while. But that's what it is, man. So you have the date, super fantastic. The lady looks great on the profile. I'm just hoping, you know, you'd show up. Hopefully it looks like the pictures, you know? You don't want to show up and uh, get catfished. You don't want to get swordfished. You don't want to get uh, sharked. You don't want to get uh, tuna up. You know, you don't want to get, uh, you know, trout. You don't want to get salmon. You don't want to feel me. You just want, oh, whatever is there on the advertisement. Hopefully that it is what it is, is representative very accurately. You don't want to be like, oh, this burger is much bigger in the picture. You know what I'm saying? It's just what it is. It's like, give or take. Of course, there's like, you know, we're all off lighting, this, that. And, but relatively speaking, you want to hopefully look alike at your picture. So that's numero uno. So there's the date in the afternoon. I finish up work. We decided to go and meet at a local coffee shop, have a little coffee, go for a little stroll, see if we vibe and then get down and have some fun. Like two adults having fun. Man, oh man, things were looking good. Not gonna lie to you. Text my lady friend. I'm like, I'm about to, you know, running a bit late, but can we push it back to, you know, half an hour or an hour or whatever. We sort that issue out. I leave my place, I'm walking, I'm getting close to the local coffee shop. Lady friend texts, I'm already here, I got here. What do you want? Right off the bat, that is a very sweet gesture. So I'm like, automatically, this is like, without it even having like, without even us having met, it's already going well. This is very, this is very sweet. It's been a while since somebody, a lady, bought your boy a cup of coffee. You know, mostly it's, Whatever, it's not that anybody, but like in general, if we're like coffee's been bought, coffee's never been, you know, so it's nice to sometimes get a coffee. It's like, I, I like that. I like it. I'm like, hey man, I'm not gonna, so I took, I'm like, this is very, I, I mentioned, I'm like, this is very sweet, very thoughtful. Thank you. I'll take a small regular, just a regular coffee, nothing schmance. Thank you for the offer. And I'll see you there in like two minutes. I get there, dudes, ladies and gents, I get there. And there she blows. There she's sitting outside with my cup of coffee and she got herself a bottle of water. And I see her from afar. I see I'm getting closer and I see her. I'm like, oh man, hell yeah. This is from the outline that I see maybe, you know, 30, 40 feet away. I'm like, yes, this is starting to check out. She does look and I'm getting closer. And as I get closer and closer, resemblances are getting closer and closer as well. I'm like, yes, automatically it's registered in the mind. I'm like, yes, that's the photo that you saw. That's the lady that's there. Again, not any sort of fish, you know, just a lady. It's a beautiful lady, very hot lady, very beautiful lady out there, smiling, cup of coffee in hand, water bottle for herself, gets up. I introduced myself, thank her for coming out. She's thanking me for coming out. We give us we give each other a nice little hug just to, and that's the thing, every time humans are, you know, every relationship's different, every human interaction's different. Uh, humans are like thumbprints or assholes, uh, or humans are like the tip of the dick hole, or humans are like the opening of a vag, or just the vag in and of itself. Very unique. It's like a very good. So each interaction is different. Each like, hellos are shaking at the hands, going in for a hug, receiving a hug, giving a hug. It all differs each and every time with every interaction, depending on the situation, of course. But she comes in for the hug. I go in for the mutual hugging now is occurring. And she tight body, dude, not gonna lie. Banging, smoke. Like, I'm not, I'm not the type that'll be like, you know, but if we are gonna just like for fact, for factual evidence, so that this is getting recorded for factual, like historical context, like a, what was, if you were to, if I had to gun to my head, katana to my nut sacks, a little rat just trying to nibble at my asshole, I'd say a dime piece, a certified, bona fide dime piece. So, you know, the picture resembles reality, reality resembles picture, things are looking good, comes in for the hug, embraces, very warm, just for, oh, check, check, tits to my tits, presses, holds. And again, 
you know, hugs can say a lot. The body language can say a lot of things. Handshaking. Do you have a Do you have a firm hand? Is it too firm? Are you shaking the hand too firm? To take it easy. There, I get a good firm hand. But like, what are you doing there? Or is it like too loose? Like, put in a little bit of effort. Hugs. Same thing. Are we going in like just some hug? Do you hug? It's maybe a quarter of a second, maybe half a second, maybe one second. It depends. Do you know the person? Do you not know the person? How comfortable do you feel? But like, there was this initial chemistry right off the bat. So she came in. I come in. We go in for the hug. Must have been a good solid two and a half, three second warm chest to chest to right. hugs brings me in close. I'm like, yes. And I bring her. We're now just uh, chest to chest, dude. And it's feeling good. So I'm like, right off that, these are, these are lovely things. These are the bought me coffee, smiling, very nice. I'm in a good mood. She's in a great mood. This is working out super well so far. Let's, I thank her for the coffee. We, you know, detach and I'm like, let's, let's go for a little stroll. There's a little, you know, we can stroll around and there's a little park area. If you like, we could go there, chit chat a little bit. And if all, you know, if, uh, if you're in the mood for it, like, that's, that's my place is right on by. We can just, yeah, no, get down to it, get down and get down. And you know what it is, the sexuals, baby. That's what it is. So we start walking. Let me get a sip of this bad boy. Cause this is man, this is fun times. Good times, baby. It's fucking Wednesday. I hope you're doing well, wherever you are. It's hump day. It's hump day. That's what it is. So we start walking. Now we're just like zigzagging through the neighborhood. You know, we've taken the little side streets just to find our way back to the park or roof. Just chit chat, initial conversation, getting, you know, getting to know each other, this, that, and the other. But, you know, it's we know what we're there for. Both of us know what we're there for. Just a good casual session, if you know what I mean, you know? So that's what it is, baby. And we're talking and like maybe five to seven minutes has not gone by. We're just conversing. And all of a sudden I hear a particular word. I hear a particular word. And I didn't even know this had, I didn't even know this word has this effect on me. Uh, talking, talking, talking back and forth. And then all of a sudden I hear the word husband. Uh, the H word, do she drop the word husband on me? I'm like, ah, skirt, skirt right here, sister. <clears throat> Let's pull this. Oh, it's, is this an, are we in a vehicle right now? Cause it's handbrake time. Skirt, skirt. I'm like, oh, wow. What husband? She's like, yeah, I'm married. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what is going on over here? Good Lord. You know? So I'm like, oh, cause at first I thought I didn't even hear it. I'm like, oh, cause it didn't say you were married on your profile. This is, you know, then you didn't mention that in the conversation that we just like, you know, I didn't know there was a husband. I didn't know there was a, you know? Now you're wondering, did it go down? Now let's just wait for that, baby. Did it go down? <laughs> I'm gonna, we're gonna wait for this one. Hold on a sec. Mm. Man, oh man, the weather's nice outside. I hope the weather's treating you well wherever you are. What were we even talking about? Oh yes, did it go down? Well, hold your horses there. We're gonna build up to it nice and easy. She says, yeah, I got a husband. I'm like, oh man, well, and it, as soon as I heard husband, my, and it, I didn't even know this was in there, I guess on some sort of like subconscious level, I'm like, well, this isn't going to work. As soon as she said husband and I like reiterated husband back to her just to confirm husband, she repeated husband again. And I'm like, well, this isn't going to work. And she's like, oh, no, what? Oh, are you serious? And she was like, bummed out. And I was bummed out. We were both initially bummed out, ladies and gentlemen. Because, like, I didn't expect, I was, I just, you know, you're on an app, you match with a lady, says, doesn't say comes with husband, you assume there's no husband. Unless somebody mentions husband, you don't know. And that's the thing, and I heard, I'm like, well, this isn't gonna work, but she's, okay, so now get this. She's, you know, she's a beautiful lady. I can't, you know, I'm not trying to, like, Gorgeous lady, let's just put it this way, like a bona fide, like a baddie, like a legit baddie, and I will get to the baddiness of it and and the minutes ahead of us, but like but like certified, but like so like initially we're having this lovely conversation, the hugs nice, just mutual, like the vibe is on, baby, and it's like oh we're like we're clicking, there's chemistry. This if this was like a class, you'd be like what class is it? It's freaking chemistry class, maybe a little bit of biology, maybe a little bit of physics. You know, it's two of us. So I guess put in a little bit of applied math. Friggin' whatever. You get it, dog. It's like legit. Mm, right there, dude. Feeling me. Feeling her. Feeling like 
things are feeling like it's nice. It's looking good until skirt, skirt, husband. Okay? Okay? Like that. Okay? So right now, show up to a date. Has this ever happened to you guys and gals out there where you show up on a date? You're like, oh, this is going to be a regular date. So whatever, and whatever you guys want to plan ahead, whether it be a one-time hookup, a couple of nightstands, or would you want to, you know, take it into like a long-term, like whatever you want to, but like initially when you meet with somebody, most scenarios, most cases, you don't expect, oh yeah, husband or like wife or, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I'll be okay with like a pet cat, you know, dropping dog. I got a couple of dogs, neat. Got a couple of pusses at home, neat. Love it. Supports animals. You know what I'm saying? But she dropped husband. I'm like, oh, wow, this isn't going to work. And she's like, oh, you, you know, but we're, so then she starts going into her, you know, so now she starts going into her spiel, into her, uh, you know, whatever, just like lifestyle and whatever. She's like, you know, she's not trying to like, it's like, I, you know, we have this understanding between my husband and I, she says this, you know, it's mutually agreed upon, you know, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, you know, I wasn't even, that's the thing. And I told her this, I told, and I, if you caught me in my earlier, you know, if my, if I was a little bit younger, dude, even like, you know, a little bit like legit, just a little bit younger, I wouldn't have even like, you know, batted an eye. I wouldn't even care. That's, that's what it is. But I noticed it just initially, it just innately came out. I'm like, eh, 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 huh, skirt, skirt, son, skirt, skirt, sister. Hold on a second. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I, that was a surprise. That was something I found out, right? Cause it's not something like, you know, it's, you don't plan for these things. It's whatever, but it just came out like, oh, well, that's, you know, and again, younger me would have probably been like, oh, okay, your husband's cool with it, all right, whatever, or you got a husband, whatever, you're here anyway, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I caught myself just having a moment of like something, which I like to label as momentarily, and I, the emphasis on momentarily, just because I, and I, and I say emphasis just because, because what happened and what will happen in the future may not resemble what happened this past Monday things may change circumstances may change so i don't know again once i started this story i told you this is on black this is on white this isn't about the right or wrong this isn't about what it is it what it is is that it's a it's a situation and it's a surprise situation so you're caught off guard you're like oh i thought we we're just gonna have a reg hookup all of a sudden oh, it has been what what no skirts let's just and here but here it is she's going into her explanation she's like yeah i've been married to my husband for a few years well, we got a we got an open relationship, and you know I've heard of this before. This isn't the first time I've heard of this. This is a I've had a couple of circumstances where people online are like, you know, you match with a person, you meet a person online, and they're like, you know, they're whatever, and they're into you, but like, a, a, yeah, yeah, my my husband would like to, you know, what? I'm I'm not into that. I'm personally I'm not into that. You know, I don't want anybody like watching from a corner smoking a cig. I don't want anybody even near the press. I don't need, I don't want anybody else. If it's just, I just like, it's for me, as I realized that this event showed me, like, I like it to be just like, whatever it is. I like it to be like two singles, two mature adults getting together and like having a good time. And I don't want there to be somebody else. Like, you know, that's just me personally speaking, but that can, again, I, that's, you know, that's not, nothing is concrete, ladies and gents, I'm not saying that this will, Cause that's what it is, baby. Don't, don't you for a second think I wasn't tempted. And I let her know that I was very tempted as well. Cause she was banging hot and she like legit. And I'm like, okay, well here's, here's what we'll do. Uh, you've come out. I've come out. It's a beautiful day. There's no, you know, we can just walk around for whatever, however long, have a little chit chat, get to, get to, you know, make a friend, get to know, but you know, yeah, let's get to know each other. Let's get to know each other. Let's connect on different levels. Is what I said. I'm like, let's let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk, and we can just you know we'll walk, and then you can you know, and then we'll. St that's what it is, because I don't even know what's gonna happen at this moment. Because I'm like, God, there's so many. You know, you're now throwing a curveball. You're here with a bunch of fastballs. You're, you're used to the fastball, and then curveball. What's up? Somebody's missing a finger, putting a little twist on that ball. So crazy town. We're walking, and she's explaining how yeah, she's been with her husband for some time, but that. And she starts going into the deets, dude. She starts going into the deets, how like, basically like, essentially not satisfied with her sex life. And from what I got anyway, she's like, my husband's a good guy and all that, but it's just like, it's, it's, it's not what is it? Like the physical is like, not what it is for whatever, you know, and I'm not like, I don't, I didn't want to like, whatever she was like, you know, she's sharing. So I'm like, oh, okay, well that's cool. But like, and I'm like, 
So you go out and like, you know, you have these, you know, you have random whatevers and like, does he do that? And he's like, yeah, I'm like, okay, so you guys are, but she's like, we don't share the details. We don't share the details of like, you know, he goes and like, you know, so I guess, you know, I don't know what's going. So that's, that's what it is. I just, here's my situation. Here's my, my whole concern with this scenario. And I'm just like trying to go through this in my head in like real time. I like my life. I love my life. I, you know, there is definitely like moments of like, I'm very grateful. I'm very appreciative of what I have. This is what I mean. Like I have, and what a lot of times, a lot of people take, you know, one thing that I have that I cherish more than, and I've cultivated this, I guess, throughout the, you know, just started to, just started to, you know, cultivate this peace of mind a little bit. And not to say that I don't like many of you guys and gals out there, you're going to like, whatever you're doing work, this, that, and the other, and you're dealing with this, that, and the other million things are, but overall, you know what I'm talking when you don't have any, like, I don't have any drama in my life. I don't have any BS in my life. All my concerns are like legitimate, like things. And like the, most of it is like wonderful. All the, I love every aspect of my life. Sure. Does it like any other life have its like moments of like ups, downs, this, that yes. But overall, one of the things that I cherish that I've Start to cultivate over the zero drama, baby. Zero drama. No, you don't want no drama. No, 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 You know what I'm saying? No drama, baby. Just a legit, straight up communication. And again, this is not something that, it's something I think you learn this shit as you get older. So it gets better as you age is what I'm figuring out. But that's what I, I, I like to avoid situations where it's like, you know, I don't know what this, like, you know, if I, if I get that feeling in my tum tum, I'm like, mm, skirt, skirt, sister, skirt, skirt, but respects it. I let her know. I'm like, I completely get her. I respect it. I've heard of this uh, open relationship concept and she's cool with it. And like, that's the thing. So we're walking now and I'm not going to pretend like there was no, there was immediate attraction, chemistry, just a good old vibe. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, we're out. We're, if we're out and like, in my head, I'm like, okay, we're not going to, I don't, I don't think we're going to bang. I don't want to, I don't want to go through with this. I just couldn't get my, but I'm like, you know, we're out here. We're going to have a good fucking time, dude. One and a half, like, I think lasted about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. We were just like walking around the neighborhood and then got into a park and then they eventually, like, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm like, if we're going out, we're going to, whatever, I'm still going to, you know, we're going to, if you're going to be flirting, then I'm going to flirt right back. We're going to just have a good time or I'm going to crack jokes. You're going to crack your stories and all that. So we're, we're walking, we're talking. I'm saying things. She's laughing. She's saying things. I'm laughing every now, like every once in a while, she'll like walk and just like, you know, there's overt signs. And then there's like, I guess, you know, whatever there's covert signs of like, you know, attraction or like intimacy or whatever. It's like, oh, there's some things click and she's like walking as we're walking in the park she's just like you know i'm trying to like a little bit of like flirting i don't even know how to flirt but if i'm like okay there's nothing like this it just actually actually turned out to be one i'll say that it actually took this was one of the best dates i've ever had actually best dates i've ever had you know what because like there was not in my head it was already registered like nothing is gonna happen in my head it was already like subconsciously deep 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 down i'm like hot is right there but no you know see but no you know what i'm saying so it's like let's just have fun so i'm like just like you know having a good time making a couple of jokes asking her questions about her life just getting to know a person for like what however long it's gonna go for so we're walking we're talking she's brushing her arm against my arm and god god at this moment i'm just like and she's and she kept on dog my dogs my ladies, my gents, she wanted it, dog. I'm not gonna like, she wanted it and I wanted it too. I believe you, this is not gonna like, I'm not gonna, but there was, but, and uh, again, husband, skirt, 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 skirt right there. You know what I'm saying? Skirt, skirt right there. Just like, you know, going with, you know, pre boner thoughts, you hear husband, that's just like pouring hot water on ice or hot water on your peen or hot water on whatever else that hot water is not good for you know so it's just like but we're flirting we're out there and she kept on like she's and she's repeating her explanation of how cool it is and she's she's like don't like she's like don't worry about nothing like and i start you know and i start trying to ask questions to see whether or not if i can somehow even like 
justify this in my head somehow that I'm gonna, you know, so I'm like, okay, like how, how, how husband, like how married are you? Is this even like, you know, how married are, so I start asking how married are you? You know, is this like a real marriage? What are we talking about? And she's like, no, it's a legit marriage. We're married. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. So the, but you got to figure things out. But she's like, think of it as like a low key marriage. So I don't, so I'm like, so you're hearing things, you're hearing things and let me get a sip of this because it's uh man oh man boys and girls ladies and gents she's like yeah man this is uh something that we do i don't ask too much questions about his extracurriculars he doesn't ask about the beats of mine she's like reassuring she's like like it was just again the chemistry so she kept on insisting it wasn't just like oh, okay we she kept on insisting like throughout the entire and it was like and believe you me it was yeah, you know, very tempting, very tempting. So when I said no to it, like my, I initially said, well, this isn't gonna happen. My younger self in the background, I could just hear this younger version of my just going gay, you know, it's just gay, you know, it's gay. I'm like, oh, growing, growing is what I'd like to, for a moment. And this is not to say that this is how I will, you know, this is not to say that this is thing of the, that will, cause I'm trying to figure it out. All my, you know what it is? Um, we're trying to figure this out together, ladies and gents, because this is all this is all just happening right in front of us. So I'm like, I I pushed out, I pushed out a little, but it wasn't just like it wasn't even. Damn, it's like it's not even pussing out. It's just like, it's pussing out, dude. I get it. I should have like you know, and yes, yes, to get to the point of the, but I will get. There's so much that happened, ladies and gents. Ladies, God, let me just. Man, she's really hot. She's really hot. Just and like kept on insisting. She's like, don't worry about it. Let's just, you know, we're gonna, and she's like throwing it all out there to like the vibes, the vibes out there, the vibes out there. Very nice lady. I'm not like, this is like just a nice, and I get like, trust me, if there was no husband involved, if there was no friggin', you know, like some dude out there that's like married to this hot chick that's out here. Like if there was no dude, no question, like, it would have been a different kind of story today. It would have been a different, maybe it wouldn't have been, like, it would have been a different kind of story, is what I'm trying to tell you. But we're walking, and she's, like, flirting. I'm flirting a little bit. We're brushing arms and whatnot, but, like, nothing's happening, because I'm like, mm, that's it. You can exchange the words, have have a few laughs, you know, but that's it. Nothing else is going to happen. And she's like, let me show. And we get into, we're starting to get to know each other. She's asking me what I do, asking her about what she does. She starts going off into, yeah, I do, you know, I'm not going to go into the detail of what she does in terms of her professional life or whatever, but she does do on the extracurricular activities. Now, this was the ladies and gents. So, oh man, ladies and what does she do on the extracurricular activities? Hold this for a second. Professional pole dancer. That's right. Professional pole dancing professional pole dancer extracurricular activities just for sport fam just for sport like this is a it's the female athlete god damn it female athlete because females do this now for athleticism dude she tells me that for one of her extracurricular activities it's a pole she does, she's got a pole she dances on the poles dude so things are just like now, now when she tells me she's, so now there's no blood in my head at this moment. There's no blood in my brain at this moment. Everything is just everywhere but up here, you know, blood everywhere, mostly trying to call you know what I'm saying? So like already, like I'm already like, you know, it's what it is. I'm, I'm a, I'm a weak man. I'm a weak man, dude. There's like, there's your, that's like, you know, that's a prime Kobe beef or whatever other prime beefs are out there and and any guy with you know so I'm just putting it out there it was so she's now telling me that yeah I you know it's crazy that you know one of my extracurriculars is I'm a I does the pole dancing and I'm like oh you don't say you don't say she's like yeah no it's totally it's something that because and I've heard of this as well I've heard of many of things Coming along 33 years, walking to this earth, I've heard of a many of things I uh, got to, you know, hear a lot more, but I've, I've heard a few things. I've heard a few things. I've heard, I, I had another coworker one time. She too had a pole in her home where she pole danced 
for sports. So this is a new, I'm like, I get it. Not everybody who, not to say, any, there's nothing, there's no judgment. All, again, this, when I started, when the beginning, and none of this is black or white. None of this is right or wrong. None of this is better or worse. It just happens to be there, just vibing. And all this lady wants is just a casual good time. And I'm, here, I, I'm out here just, you know, being a whatever, dude. You, whatever. So she's like, I'm, and I'm like, oh, that's fantastic. I support the arts. I support sports. And she's like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm here. I'll, I'll show you. I'm like, mm, 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 okay. God. So she goes in, and we're walking, and we're just chit chatting, you know, shooting the shit, having some fun. Laughs are coming through. Little moments of like, oh, a little bit, of, oh, you know, let me get to know this person. Whips out her phone and there's like, you know, there's a, she shows me a video and there she is, ladies and gents. There she is. There she is. A beautiful lady upside down on a pole wearing the tiniest of Brazilian bikinis. The, if there was a contest for tiniest Brazilian bikinis, this lady would have it. This lady would get the cake. So... I'm out here just being a, trying to be a whatever. I don't even know what the, at that point, again, blood has completely left this area. It is anywhere but here. So I'm like, and she's like, what do you, th and I'm like, I, I, I love the athleticism. I appreciate the, how many, how many times can you do that? Just with your legs, huh? No hands, Jesus. Okay, wow, look at this. And I'm like, and I'm like, oh, let's let's get to know what 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 drove you to you know what is this that? So I start inquiring questions because I want to know a person because I know deep down inside I already registered. I don't know why today that Monday it was just like no skirt skirt no for whatever reason, you know. So I start asking questions. It's just a hobby that she does, just a sport that she does every once in a while, you know. And she's got it installed in her home, dude. And I mean, again, I've heard of things. I've heard people do. I had a coworker who had a pole installed in her home, and she used to do that as sport as well. Didn't do it for monies or nothing, just sport. Apparently, it's really good for your core strength and shit. So, in her case, it was actually really. I found that hilarious at the moment when she shared that story with me, because at the moment she was living with her parents. And not to say there's anything wrong with that, but like that's uh, man, ladies. These like man, if you got a daughter that's coming to your home for exercise and is exercising on a pole, dude, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's appreciated, but many a people. But I'm just saying, dude. And I was like, whoa. You know, it's like that is because I remember when I was younger, I used to live with my parents, and like you know, and there was a you know in our basement we had like workout equipment and shit. I go out and like work and so like, but the sa same z's. What are you doing now in there, sweetheart? Working out. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna come down here and get a beer out the fridge in the basement. Oh, look at who's twirling on this pole. Exercise, daddy. Or something, I don't even know it, dude. But she's twirling on this freaking spinning, dude. Doing three slow-mo, three, so like heels, tiniest of bikinis. Very, very you know, so it's out then she's like, oh, I'm like, well, this is, this is, this is great. This is fantastic. And she's like, yeah, so, you know, let's just, and we're having all sorts of discussions amongst ourselves, trying to see if anything will, and I'm like, you know, I'm out there. I'm like, I've already made my mind. I don't, I don't want to go through with it just because I don't know. There's something in me, despite the fact that she's like, you know, my husband's cool with it. This is our, this is our deal. This is what we do. He's cool with it. And I start asking questions to see if I can somehow justify. I'm like, you know, is this guy like, you know, what kind of guy are we talking about? I'm trying to like get a feel for, and you know, overall, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter at that moment on that particular day. I felt like, not today, sister. Not like this. Not like this. And what did I do, ladies and gents? I got me a good, essentially, a blue balls, dude. Blue balls, Monday. Got the blue balls, blues, paper. Got the blue balls, blues, paper. I got the blue balls, paper. The blue balls, blues, paper. Something like that, you know what I'm talking about? But that's the thing. She too let me know that she too has blue 
labias. You know what I'm saying? So it was mutual, just a couple of, just a couple of blue adults out there with a lot of chemistry. Dude, the chemistry was off the hook, dude. The chemistry was off the hook. One of the best dates I've ever had. God damn it. Mm, dude, mm, why? Because it's like one thing, I feel like it's, it's rare that you meet somebody that you have like just overall vibes, just like on like, just, you know, mm, you know, does that make sense? And I'm not even out here looking for anything more than just a, just a nice hang, just a good mutual sesh. But that's out there, ladies and gents. So that's one of the things that I, uh, that was my Monday essentially. And we walked for about again, an hour and a half, maybe two hours tops. And eventually we, you know, we looped around the area and I'm like, well, you know, this has been lovely. This has been great. And she's like, you know, do you want to go back to your place? And like, and again, touching of the every five minutes, touching of the old, she reached into my, I got, I got holes on my kneecaps of my pantaloons, just reaching into my holes, dude. And like, oh, I, what's just being playful. And it's just, just two silly gooses out there. It's two fun, silly gooseies ganders out there just doing fun silly activities which one happens to have a bummer of a husband god that he's apparently totally cool with this shit so that's 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 what it is so i'm like you know what let's uh this has been such a lot and it genuinely was it was one of the it was one of the you know it was a really cool date it was actually a really nice day i had a great time uh but yeah i eventually i'm like let's you know let's circle around and i'll walk you back to your you know, uh, she drove and there was a parking lot where she parked her car. I'm like, I'll walk you back to your car and say la vie until that last second that we departed. It was just like, she was like, I think she was like a little bit, I think, because here's the thing. I'm talking about it like in my, like, again, uh, whatever, hot lady, very hot lady, attractive, great attitude, bubbly personality, just an overall, you know dime uh so i guess so in her mind she was like are you retarded maybe she didn't she, like she was super nice about it and all of that like but like i because like it's a it took me for, it took me for surprise too okay it all took again this will if this happened just a few years ago anywhere in my 20s really yes no questions asked not a not a but and again, and I'm not even saying that this is going to be my mode of conduct even in the future. Because if this is a thing, because I don't know how many, that's, that's what it is, ladies and gents. Figure it out. Figure your shit. Like, that's it. I would have loved to have known initially right off the bat from the, you know, the conversation. Hey, because I'm very upfront and like, you know, I'm very upfront. I, I you know, very, uh, never rude or anything like that. But I say what's on my mind. I say what I'm looking for. I say, you know, I, I say what it is that I want. And I, you know, mutually, hopefully they would like the same thing so we can reciprocate, have ourselves a good time. So, you know, no mention of husband. I'm just like, man, this is gonna go great. But like, you go out on the day, you find a husband, you know? So, this guy's out there, dude. This guy's out there. Send his hot wife. Show me videos. So it is out there, man. It is out there, ladies and gents. I don't know if I, I guess this is that's that's what it is. And I'm just trying to like I'm trying to you know I'm this is the first time that I can at least like recollect. I'm experiencing life. You know I'm learning things. I'm growing. I'm trying not to grow. I'm trying not to grow, dude. Try. You have no idea how hard I'm trying to resist the growth resist the growth baby try to you know what it is try to resist the growth so and I'm not promising nothing dude down the line should a similar situation I'm not promising nothing to no one all right I'm just saying in this particular moment on that Monday when your boy got caught off guard you know who knows anything could have and that's what it is I would have been totally fine too because she was cool with it apparently her husband's uber cool with it and that's what's out there. So yeah, have you guys and gals been on a date and got, you know, and, and turned out it was with a married person? Have, have you ever, that's, 
do you have an open relationship out there? Because it is fascinating, man. I, and I, you know, I try to, and she's like roughly the same age as me. Excuse me. So I feel like, you know, her husband must be the same age, give or take. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to like, I, I, I get no judgment or anything. There's no, there's no better or worse. There's no, man, like it's, it's crazy town is what it is, dude. It's crazy town is what it is, is what I'm trying to say. I don't, I support everyone's thing. That's the, that's their thing that they do. That's their thing that they does. But yeah, man, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'd be able to handle that. I don't know if I'd be able to be in a relationship that is open. That's why I like staying single until like one day I feel like if I want to like be in a relationship, I'll just be in a relationship. And not to say that that's not a relationship because they're like legit married. There are legit married couples who leave the doors open, who leave the doors open. There's a front door. We're going to, we enter the house. There's a front door to this house. There's a back door to this house. And there's a side door as well bunch of windows and it's got a basement and maybe an attic maybe a fire exit who the fuck knows it's a beautiful house but nonetheless the point is that people do different things uh, the f man the thought of like uh, the thought of my wife if I were to like get married if I were to like get married if, I think it's like an oxymoron, sir, because like you get the marriage, you get the, you do the marrying, you you marry, you put a ring on it, she puts a ring on, yeah, you put a ring on her. The rings are circles representing tightness. Tightness of the circle. You put the circles on, and it's supposed to stay tight because it's and circles. Those circles are supposed to be like tight, 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 tight. My that's, that's my circle. The circle's been taken. It's what it is. It's what I'm learning. Again, these are not thoughts. That are this, these are these are new thoughts. These are new revelations. These are new. And I'm not even saying it. I don't even know what I'm saying, dude. I'm, all I'm saying is I lost a lot of blood that day, and it was it was hard. But I said I said oh we're oh testing testing test test testing testing testing, you know for a because that's what it is. Every moment, every day out here on them streets every day is a sort of a, you know, and you gotta just remember at the end of that, and that's when it clicked on me and I walked away happily at the end of the day. Because deep down inside, I know one thing that is crazy actually, peace of mind for me has now started to slowly but surely at least start to compete with the puss. Because when you're a younger man out there, doing a things not a lot of things that taught puss not a lot of things that you know number one for sure long time you know champion of top things puss is up there dude so a lot of things were clicking for me a lot of things i'm like yeah because i'm like you know I, I i like to have a good time but again i just and i don't know and that's the thing you and that's the thing people say things but I just rather, if I'm going to be hooking up with somebody, I, I rather hook up with a single lady, you know? I rather just be like, you're single, I'm single, let's just, and that's what, because it's nice and easy, dude. It is nice and easy. Everybody knows what they want. Everybody knows what's happening. You get in there, you get out, have your fun. And once again, c'est la vie, that's, that's what it is, baby. But once you get in there with some sort of other, and then you, that's what it is. You have like, you know, I don't. It's just, yeah, I don't know. If I hear, if I know, and I'm not, again, promising anything in the future or nothing, but for that moment, for that one particular moment on Monday, I felt like, I felt like I'm cock-blocking myself. Was I proud of it? In hindsight, no. If I'm being completely honest, no. Because I, because I came home and I, uh, it's a beautiful, she was a beautiful Latina lady. She's a beautiful beautiful Latino Canadian lady, fucking just mm, all that and a bag of chips, beautiful Latino lady. And I'm like, I'm gonna, what did I do? What did I do? Pornhub, Latin porn. 
it's, uh, it's what it is, baby, because that's what it is. You have to, the, the blood, you got to keep the blood flow. It's all about equilibrium. It's all about balance. It's all about something. It's all about peace of mind. It's all about a good time, but you know, because that's, that's what it is. That's what it is, man. So I don't know if you're out there in an open relationship, at least, at least give a heads up. That's, that's the only, that's the only thing I could ask for. That's the only thing, you know what I mean? I don't have too many like things that I ask for open communication, honesty, honesty is the best, best, but that's what I said. That's again, something that you learn as you grow. Honesty is the bestest of policies because there's no ambiguity. There's no questions. There's no, you know, what's this, that, or the other. You say what you want, you know what you get. Everybody's mutually happy. Everybody's having a good time. Uh, other than that, yeah, man, it's just like nice to know. I don't know what, but but then again, I don't. I've never been in a, you know, I, I've not been, and I'm, I've not been married to be like. I I, I don't know what it is. Maybe because some people might want to keep it a secret. If you, but that's the thing. Then don't bring it up. Then that's one thing. If you're not gonna like, if it's just a hookup that you're doing and like it's a thing that you do, if you're not gonna mention it, and the text and don't mention it at all or mention honesty is the best policy so mention it mention it or don't because maybe you like your i don't know i don't know what to say again this is not black or white this is not right or wrong i and i and i'm like yeah in my mind and she was like there's there's nothing you need to like worry about feel bad about she's like being the sweetest loveliest lady looking all sorts of hot just wearing the tiniest of brazilian bikinis doing upside down twirlies on the friggin pole dude mm. so did i hit it ladies and gentlemen did i hit it classic textbook definition of if hitting it what what even is hitting it if it means what you're asking me is did i did i get it nope Could we have both gotten it? Yes. Did I, is this a good thing or a bad thing? I don't even know, karmically speaking, I, I'm guessing down the line, there's like, there's a there's great puss waiting ahead somewhere. That is karmic, that's karmic puss, dude. Cause, or, or did I disappoint this, did I disappoint the husband? You know what I mean? Did I just ruin his week? You know what I mean? Because what if this is like legit their setup? What if like he's a great guy, got everything going on? They have like, I guess they have sex or whatever, but it's like she needs more or she needs something different or a little bit, whatever. And like when she gets that extra some some, she's like fucking great at home. But like she went home and it's just like smashing dishes. <laughs> now he's all upset. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I let down. Did I just let down like this beautiful young cuck? Did I just, you know, is he, who did I let down more? Myself, this lady, or the husband? Who's more disappointed in this scenario? Overall, I had a fantastic time. And overall, I, I got a chance to like have fun with it. So I'm no complaints on this side. But overall, I was just like trying to imagine him at home, like waiting for his wife to get home from getting pounded and like being in a really great mood. But she's just like, oh, can you believe this idiot doesn't want all of this? <laughs> he kind of. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so that's so good. I like that. That is a uh... ladies and gents, boys and girls. Uh, are you in an open relationship? Are you in a closed relationship? Can you imagine yourself being in an open or closed relationship? I think if I get in a relationship, I'll figure it out when I get there. I don't know what it is. So right now, I like to, you know, enjoy my life. Uh, the biggest thing that, that, and that's, if I ever, you know, that's the biggest thing in uh, my life is comedy, is storytelling and going on this journey and nothing else uh, tops it. And I guess that was the revelation because I'm like, despite the fact that your boy likes the puss, 
love that comedy, dude, which is crazy. It's shut up. You're growing. You're you're growing, stupid. Boys and girls, ladies and gents, I'm not making any promises down the line. How I will, uh, if there's another baddie down the line that happens to have a similar situation, will I say, will I, you know, will I do the same? I don't know. I don't know. She was very good looking, very hot, charming, great attitude, and I honestly genuinely wish her the best and uh, him as well, whatever, like they're saying. And everybody else out there, that's, that's what it is. Overall, that's the thing. Overall, is I'm just like, you know, I'm all about good times, all about good vibes, putting good things out there. I try, you know, but not to say that, the, and that's the thing, I'm not, I don't even know what that was. Maybe, I, again, maybe in my mind, momentarily, I thought I was doing a good thing, but again, what if like that, what if she's disappointed because she didn't get that, you know what it is? She didn't get that, goes home, and it's just like, oh, oh. Whatever, the marriage falls apart because she didn't get the, whatever, dude, you know what I'm saying? Because there's now extra, because now he can't do it, because if he could, the, or maybe he doesn't want to, or maybe he, does, maybe, maybe he does. Maybe it's just like, maybe they're just not meant to be. I don't know what it is. That's difficult. That's what it is. Relationships are challenging, but you can handle it. You guys and gals can handle it, and I too can handle it. Uh, but I prefer right now to concentrate on my careers and living life, on a, going, on a, going on a journey, been on a journey. And I like these stories because they're saying, you know, if, if you happen to actually meet somebody who's nice enough to, you know, let you have an intimate moment with them, that's always, always appreciated. And, you know, should you just go out on a date, that's always cool too. Just meeting people is cool in general. Um, but yeah, there was, there was different moments in all of this uh, Monday little date that I had. I don't know if this is, uh, I'm assuming you guys and gals out there have had similar circumstances. Maybe again, you're in a relationship, maybe you're in a, uh, maybe you're single out there, maybe you're dating, maybe you're dating a little bit. I don't know, everybody's got different things these days and there's no judgment to any of it. In all honesty, the only thing I like is straightforward honesty. Uh, just, you know, say whatever it is so that we know what we're all dealing with. And again, these are not things that, again, my younger self would have, you know, been like, Put a condom on it, let's go. And uh, to that I say, it may again, it may happen in the future, it may not happen in the future, it may happen differently, and I don't know. This is just what happened, and thank you for being a part of my life, thank you for being a part of my journey, thank you for uh, being, you know, being involved together. This is really cool, man, because it's uh, starting to, yeah, uh, I'm really appreciative of a lot of things, and I'm really, you know, I'm glad that we get a chance to interact in different means and I hope to just get out there soon in a few weeks and explore whatever else is out there in the world and share with you guys and gals and again thank you for opening your hearts and uh, minds and letting me step in it and also stepping in my mind and in my heart I appreciate you I love you where can you find these videos I hope uh, you like them enjoy it on Instagram follow me there if you like subscribe on YouTube for the full length videos check it out talk about it with your family and friends pass it around help your boy help your boy help yourselves Help yourselves, help your family members uh, sort out these relationships or don't, whatever, they're cool, that's already sorted. I just need to get like acclimated to this. This was a, a surprise. Next time, I, ooh, man. Twirling, baby, twirling. A lot of blood lost. Point is, you can also check out patreon.com slash Rob Sadry, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'll be back again here. And we'll rock and roll on a high note on Friday, baby. In the meantime, it's hump day. Go out there and have some fun. Peace out. Love y'all.